Hi, my name is Alan Meyer, and I'm one of the department chairs at the online program for the Center for Counseling and Family Studies at Liberty University, which is located in Lynchburg, Virginia. And um, what I want to show you today is something that we've tried to teach our professors so that um, they're grading fully, but at the same time grading efficiently. Um, most of our professors, we have about uh, 200 professors just in our program alone, and most of them are full-time counselors. And so they're doing their work as adjuncts, usually after a long work of counseling or whatever their professional work is. And, um, you know, instead of cutting corners while they're grading papers, we want to make sure that they're giving full feedback to students um, and, and showing them how they really need to improve for their subsequent writing projects. So um, what I'm going to show you today is one uh, technique that we have uh, tried to teach them. And I, I thought I'd start with just using a number of examples here, um, the examples that I've actually got um, programmed into my uh, Word program. I probably have oh, two, three hundred uh, shortcuts like this for comments uh, that I can use when I'm grading papers. Um, I'm sure that you realize that as you're grading papers, you tend to make the same comments repeatedly because students tend to make the same kind of APA errors or writing errors or so on. So um, I've just pulled out a number of examples here from papers that are recently graded. Um, and on the first one you see here, the student made an attempt to indent, but um, the indentation is incorrect. And I use the, the comment feature from Word uh, for the most part. So if I want to um, let the student know that they that they need to uh, look at APA and see how the, how uh, indentation is done correctly, um, I can just make a comment like that, just a few keystrokes, and the the comment actually uh, shows up on the right hand side. It's something that I've programmed in. Uh, this next example here is um, a a writing error where there's a subject verb disagreement. Uh, the student says throughout this book, the author continue, it should be author continue. So I want to make a comment there, drawing attention to that. So just with a couple of keystrokes, um, I can have this uh, show up in my comment box. Um, the third example that I've used here is uh, one that you probably see a lot as well. Students will just grab a quote from a source and slap it in their paper and they may cite it, but uh, as you know, APA requires that uh, students introduce their quotes, and quotes have to be used in the context of what they're saying rather than just stand alone. So I've got a comment that um, uh, just with a couple of keystrokes, I can have that appear, and my comment says, per APA, quotes need to be introduced, not stand alone. Um, the next example here is just a, um, a misuse of a, of a colon. Um, we see a lot of grammatical and writing errors and so on. So I want to highlight here how that the student has misused um, a colon, and then they can do further research on it to see what the problem is. But so um, I put in my shortcut, and then um, this is what appears. And it's just actually this is just taken from uh, chapter four from the APA manual. It explains. Um, the use of a semicolon compared with the use of a colon and so on. Um, just a couple more here real quickly. Um, this next one is an error that uh, we see a lot, at least I see a lot, um, and it's a misuse of the, the, the terms who, that, or which, the reference who, that, or which. And the student said, when I first read the abstract, I wondered to myself, could a person that has more, it should be a person who has more. So um, I'll put in my uh, shortcuts, and then um, this uh, pops up. Now, uh, the examples that I've gone through so far are um, pretty simple examples, some having to do with the APA and some having to do with writing errors, but uh, you may get to the end of a section or your entire paper and want to make a comment on, a general comment on how well the student has done. And um, these can be longer, uh, have more content to them, um, and if, if the comment fits, I want to add that to it. And so I've got um, probably scores of these kinds of comments um, built into my Word program. Um, and for each different type of assignment that I, uh, that I grade, there, 
is comments that are specific to that assignment. So um, let's assume that in this last paragraph here, and this person wrote it in Greek, so I guess we'll never know, but uh, let's assume that they fell a little bit short on uh, a particular part of that assignment that was necessary. And in this case, um, one of the papers that I use requires them to apply um, concepts from journal articles that they read to a specific counseling uh, situation. So let's assume that uh, this particular comment um, fits. And so I put in my shortcut and uh, the comment prints out that in your application section, you provided some general comments, but and then I go and explain that it didn't really fulfill the part of the assignment that says take concepts from that journal article and apply them to this specific counseling scenario. Um, so those are some examples now. How do we go about uh, doing this? How do we build in shortcuts like that uh, using the word program? And I, and I think I mentioned in uh, the actual narrative, the written narrative, that there are a number of programs out there that can do this for you. There's one that I used to use called APA Grade Assist. And if you load that on, uh, you'll see up in the menu bar here, Grade Assist show up, you click on that, and then you literally have um, scores, probably even hundreds of comments um, having to do with writing in the APA, pretty heavily geared toward the APA. You've got a number of categories that you could uh, choose. From my standpoint, the limitation of that is that um, those are comments that someone else has written, and they may not particularly fit the comments that I make repeatedly. So I used that for a while and then decided I'd be better off just to construct my own. So let me show you how I how I construct my own archive of grading comments with the, the shortcuts that I have built in. Um, and I, I do that using the autocorrect feature that Word has. And I'm using Word 2010 here. So you may uh, arrive at the end at, at, at this particular tool in a different way. But on uh, Word 2010, click on File, and then go down to Options, and then click on Proofing, and then Autocorrect. And um, by the way, uh, what I also do is I try to build in as many shortcuts or abbreviations for um, comments that I have to type in. So I'll notice words that I use repeatedly, and if I can make an abbreviation there, it just helps me to type faster. And let me give you one example here. Uh, since this is the counseling program, um, we refer to APA a lot, and it slows me down if I have to actually capitalize APA every time I type it in. So if I can make a shortcut like this um, and put the caps in, uh, every time I type APA in small letters, it will appear APA in full caps as it's supposed to be. So I hit replace. Um, okay, I just said that this already exists because I've done it before. Uh, click OK, click OK again. And then uh, let's say, for instance, I want to make a comment about APA or in my typing. Um, I type in APA and it comes up uh, with all caps like it's supposed to be. So um, let's go back and uh, Options, proofing, autocorrect. Now, what if I want to make a longer comment um, that a uh, student has done fairly well on a particular area? So I can say, uh, good job on the application. Oops. All right. Now, I've got to figure out what I want for my abbreviation. And you can choose anything that fits you. Um, and, and actually, when I started doing this, I kept a, a running list of the abbreviations that I used, and now they're familiar enough to me that I don't refer to my list very often. But whatever makes sense to you, use that for that particular uh, comment. So, um, and sometimes I'll just use the first letters of a number of the words. So I may see, say, oops, go a little bit of replace part of it. So I'll say G for good, J for job, uh, A for application. So if this is a comment that I want to use a lot, um, it, it doesn't take very long before I can recall that um, G, J, A will bring up this, this uh, full comment. So let me click out of it and see if it works. OK, I did. Now, um, what about um, longer comments that I, I want to make? Uh, for instance, uh, 
comments on the, on, on the entire paper, for instance. Um, I may want to uh, explain to the student what they've done well, what they haven't done well, where they've fallen short. And um, for some of the papers that I grade, I actually have four or five general comments um, on the entire paper that fit. So if I think a student has done a really good job on this particular paper, um, they've, they've completed each part um, per instructions and done it well and so on. Um, and if I want to make a comment like that, actually I could add numerous things to this to make this more complete. But one quick way of doing that is to just to highlight the comment and then go back into my autocorrect and you'll see I didn't do it. Try it again here. Okay. I highlight this comment. Get into autocorrect. And for some reason it's not showing up. Let's see. Um Let me go back here again. Typically, when you highlight that and go into option proofing autocorrect, there it is. Um, that will show up here in the replace with box. So then I just need to determine uh, what my shortcut is going to be to show them how to replace it. So again, um, I'll just put GJ for good job. Um, click OK. Click OK down here, and then um, if I want to use that comment, um, yeah, for some reason that didn't work. But um, typically, if I put that comment in there, I better forgot to uh, hit, hit apply there. But um, let's try to get here. Okay. Let's see. Good job, Chief. Good job on the second paper. So click Add, click OK, click OK again. What do you do correctly the first time? Okay. All right, there we go. So um, what I the shortcut that I clicked on there brought up this particular comment. So um, that's the process that I go through. And again, um, our goal here is to develop shortcuts for most of the routine grading comments that we make. Um, and like I say, it can be hundreds of them. And then um, build those in in a way that makes sense to you. And then also to um, make your just your general typing um, efficiently as possible. So um, and that's the example that I used earlier where um, you use your own set of abbreviations. So if you're if you're typing unique comments, your typing is much faster than it would be if you're typing it out um, longhand. So hopefully this has been um, relatively clear way and helpful as you build your own uh, archive of grading comments, um, so that you know the end result is uh, feedback to the student that's full and complete and really helpful to them as they uh, make improvements for subsequent papers. All right, thanks a lot.